first news of season two. I, I think Dre got a lineup. I do like Ray Allen's PE. I mean, what you expect, it's Ray Allen. Him and Jordan kind of got that ball head connection. So, I mean, anytime Ray Allen need to shoot, of course it's going to be dope. As far as the LeBrons, I enjoyed looking at those too. I mean, that's a dope shoe. But certain ideas mess me up when I'm copping shoes. I mean, I just see a bunch of you guys dressing your sons up in an Iron Man suit and putting these shoes on them. I probably won't cop if y'all do that. I always look at things from a general release standpoint. So what I mean by that, if the LeBron 11s were sitting on shelves, that would definitely land in uh, the bottom half as far as colorways go. And same thing for the Ray Allen PEs. Just, that's a terrible shoe. You got the, the PEs that Ray Allen wore, they were all right. I mean, it's, it's nice seeing a colorway that you've never seen before. But then if they were mass produced and it was a GRL, it would be trash. Let's be real. And the Ring Knight uh, PE, well, not the PEs, uh, the LeBrons. Oh, no, man, I think you put those on Iron Man and you got you a solid selling point. So when Avengers 2 come out, him rocking them, you're gonna sell out. But I know, in all seriousness, that's, that's, that's a dope shoe. Uh, I hope, because I really don't want to buy it, but I hope Trey and Jeremy is okay. The LeBron 11s. I think the LeBron 11s. Oh, let me calm down. <laughs> the LeBron 11 Christmas Edition. Really dope shoe. I think these are the dopest ones since the 8s. Uh, I know a lot of people like the 10s. I'm not going to talk about the trash ass 9s. But the, uh, the 8s were the dopest ones. I think these are a good runner up. Will I cop? Yes. Will I cop? No. But I mean, great shoe. Forging irons. It looked like um, if you had maybe like 10 of them, you can just set them up as cones and just do drills around them. Good shoe though, they remind me of macaroni and cheese. But besides that, I mean, it's solid. I really don't see anybody rocking them to the full potential unless you're the jersey or the school you play for or the college has that color. I don't think you can just put them on with some jeans and a shirt and be clean, but that's my opinion. The forging irons, just pure dopeness. I don't want to call it too early, but uh. It's probably gonna be my favorite shoe, one of my favorite shoes of the year, simply for the fact that orange is my favorite color, and then you have LeBron 11, which uh, is one of my favorite silhouettes out to date. I like this shoe. I mean, Nike's doing their thing with the LeBron 11 this year. As soon as I get it, you can guarantee I'm going into the what I'm rocking today and what you're rocking today. As far as the LeBron Christmas, heck yeah, I'm a cop. I mean, that's a dope colorway. If you mess with Jay Jones, man, I mean, if you mess with me, Put these on your Christmas list early to give to me. Don't wait until the last minute. Santa's not having that this year. I already talked to him. Jordan Becker 10s remind me of the 2011 Jordans that came out. Just, I don't know the way to feel, the look, the slimness of the shoe. Other than that, I really can't see any, uh, any reason if, you know, if these were to come out to pick them up. Because, I mean, I saw the jack, I saw everything that went with it. That's pretty corny, I think. When you have uh, clothing that comes out with the shoe, corny. That's not the point of the shoe, like to wear clothing that automatically matches with it. But, I mean, solid shoe, you pick them up, can't be mad at you. The Dornbecker 10s, the colorway is there, but the design is not. I mean, it's not something that you just must cop, but I mean, if you do, then, you know, it's a decent pickup, but again, if you don't, you didn't miss out on much. I don't feel like talking about them, man. Just next question. I don't feel like talking about them going back. What, the Kobe? Yeah, my nigga, not. The, the Kobe A's. My nigga, what the Kobe? That's just my answer. As far as the what the Kobe's, well, extremely well presented, even though it was really colorful and it's kind of all over the place. It just looks uh, like it, I don't know, it just has a nice solid foundation. It looks good. And I could see you really rocking these. And, uh,. Breast cancer Kobe's, they look good too. Real well, well presented, uh, real solid, just base color, or like, you know, the what the Kobe's. And the color is, is a, it's not really a pink, it doesn't look pink to me. It looks like a, I'm gonna be like a hot pink. I, I'm not a really a good color guy. And they look good, but which one would I pick? I would have to go to what the Kobe's, because it's just it's so much more of a head turn. Whereas uh, the breast cancer, are really good looking shoes and they look at it. And they're not probably gonna give you a second take. Plus it's kinda like hot pink. Fucking more hot pink. 
As far as this decision on the Kobe's, wow, I mean, that really is a hard decision. But if I had to choose one, and I mean if I had to, I'll probably go with the what the Kobe's just because of the colorway. I mean, I see myself rocking more items, more outfits with that Kobe. But if we're talking strictly on court purposes, then I'll probably go with the pink ones. I mean, I like looking loud on the court as you guys may know, but you guys also know that I'm a big fan of the Kobe 8, so if I can get both, I'm gonna get both. That's it for this week's sneaker news. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be looking out for that APL Concept 3 performance test coming soon. We promise, Skip Genius, we out. Bitch. <laughs>